In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a how to make a four bar linkage. The four bar linkage is made of four main components. These include ground, crank, coupler, and rocker. The ground linkage is connected to the crank and the rocker, and the coupler linkage is attached to the crank and the rocker. In order for the linkage to work, the sum of the longest and the shortest links must be less than the sum of the other two links. Okay, we're going to have a go at modeling that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the four parts of the linkage. So we're going to start with the rocker linkage. Okay, so we're going to go to File, have to create a new piece, new part, and OK. Whenever we start drawing, we need to make sure that we're in the sketch mode. So in the top left, click on sketch. And then from here, we're going to use the um, into this, this section here with the straight slot. We don't want to use the straight slot. We're going to just click on there. We're going to use the center point straight slot. OK, we're going to draw this on the front plane. And we always want to try and draw. I'm, ah, OK, it's at a slight angle, so I'm just going to try and make that flat. So to make that flat, click on here for the view. And I'm just going to select the front view, so that's a, a, the, we can see the front plane flat towards us. Okay, I'm going to start drawing the uh, the slot. Okay, I'm going to draw that from the center point here. Okay, it's always good to draw there, and then the computer knows exactly what we're kind of where the dimensions are. So I'm going to start drawing there. So left click. Okay, I'm going to try and make this line straight if I can. That looks about straight to me. And then I'm just going to move away. Okay, and I'll draw that that sort of shape. And I need two circles, so I'm going to go up to here and grab my circle tool. And I'm just going to hover over that center bit there, left click and move away. And over here, do the same. Okay, so basically that's the shape that we want for all four linkages, but obviously they're going to be slightly different sizes, and just in terms of the length of them. Okay, so let's put some smart dimensions on there. So we click on smart dimensions, and there's four dimensions we need to add here. So we're just going to click on this circle and pull away. I'm going to tell that to be three. Okay, so the, so the uh, diameter is going to be three millimeters. Okay, at this point, do check that down the corner here, it does say MMGS. If it doesn't, and it says IPS, quickly change that to MMGS. Uh, it might take you out of sketch mode, that you might need to go back into sketch mode, and then just make sure that's on three millimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same on this side over here. So just click on that line and drag away, and type in three, and say okay. Uh, I want the height from the, so from the top to the bottom, I want this to be 10 millimeters. And for the rocker, I want this one to be 100 millimeters. Okay. Yeah, so I can just zoom back out again so I can see what that looks like. Okay, so this is my, my first part. Uh, I'm just going to say OK on there. So that I've drawn the uh, initial outline. Hopefully down here it's now saying fully defined. That means it's happy. It knows where everything is. Okay, I can maybe move those around a bit if I want to just sort of make them a bit clearer to see. But it's not really make too much difference. Okay, just so I can see that those are the bits that I need to have on there. And say OK. I'm now going to exit the sketch because we're going to extrude that. So to extrude, go into Features, Extrude, and we're just going to change that to three millimeters, and say OK. All right. So there's my first piece. Now I'm going to make the different linkages different colors just to help us see what I'm going to do. Okay. So this rocker, I'm going to make this uh, black to start with. Okay. So to change the appearance, click on the little the beach ball over here, okay, and then you need to um, click on appearances, and that should kind of drop down this. Uh, I think we're just going to go into bulk plastic, and let's go for a, a high gloss, and see what colors we've got. We're looking for black, there we go, and we should be able to just double click. Okay, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, you might need to come out of that. You might need to highlight the whole thing. You might need to go right click and kind of add it to it, or right click here, add appearance to part. So sometimes that can be a little bit fiddly. Okay, so that's that part made. So we're now going to save that. So we're going to go File, Save As, and we're going to call this Rocker. Okay, and Save. 
Okay, the next part we're going to make is we're going to make the crank. Okay, so I'm just going to close it off. And it's the same procedure again. So file, new, part, OK, uh, into the sketch mode. And then we're using the center point straight slot on the front plane. Start drawing from the center. Uh, just going to make sure that's flat first of all, just to help me see what's going on. OK, that's better. Uh, back to there again. So drawing, always draw from the center. I'm trying to make that flat, that's about right, all the way there, okay, I need my two circles, and use my smart dimension, so the top to the bottom will be 10 millimeters, and these are going to be three, Uh, at this time, I want the length of this to be 60 millimeters. Okay, and I'm just having a look. Uh, one. As you can see from this part, we've added the same dimensions as last time. However, now it's saying underdefined. Now, what's happened here is when I've been drawing it, it's not drawn it absolutely straight to the um, the horizon. So what's happened is, is it's asking for another dimension to work that out. Uh, we're not too worried about that, so actually we're just going to continue. So I'm going to go exit sketch out of there, uh, onto features, extrude. Again, I want to make this 3 mil. Say OK. And this time, this is the crank, I want to make this yellow. So into here, uh, and let's see if we can find a nice yellow color, that'll do the job. Okay, and let's just go save that, save as, and this is going to be the crank. Okay, now we're going to be on to part three, which we're going to call the coupler, and this is going to be green. Okay, so file, new, part, okay. Into sketch, front plane, need the again, use our friend the center point straight slot. Uh, so I'm drawing from there again, try if I can to make it as straight as I can. I think that looks quite straight there. Put my circles in. Sorry, the noise is going to come. Right. This is the time I have to bash it with a bash hammer. Okay, so I've added the two circles in. We're now going to put the smart dimensions on. So smart dimension on the top to the bottom is going to be 10 mil. Uh, the circles are going to be three again on both sides. And this is the coupler, so this is going to be 80 long. Okay, so that's come out of there into features and extrude. Again, back to three millimeters. Okay, and this time we're going to make this green. Okay, so the couple is going to be green. Let's see if we can find a nice green. Oh, that'll do the job. Double click, and we're going to just save that as the coupler. Okay, on to our last part. So again, hopefully we know the score by now. File a new. And into sketch on the front plane, the center point slot. So I'm drawing always from the center. And put our two circles in. Okay, and then we'll use the, the smart dimensions on there. Okay, so we've done the uh, circles on there, so now we're on to the smart dimensions. So again, three mils on the holes, both sides. Uh, top to bottom is going to be 10. And this time, this is going to be 120, okay, for our ground linkage. So this is obviously our, our longest linkage. Okay, so out there, uh, 
features extrude three mil. Okay. Uh, let's just change the color on there. This time I want a blue. There we go. I'm just going to save that as ground. Okay, so we've now got our four different links that we can put together in a, an assembly. Okay, so the next part we're going to do is we're going to start a new assembly. Okay, now the first part we need to bring in is the ground, because obviously we want that to be ground, we want that to be fixed in place. Okay, so we start with the ground and say open. So we've got the ground in, and you'll notice over here, it actually has like a little F around it, and that means it's fixed in place, which is obviously we, we need that to be fixed. Okay, so we're now going to bring the next parts in. So the next part we're going to bring in is we're going to bring in the crank. Okay, so to assembly, insert, and we'll bring in the crank, and open. And this should be the yellow piece, so we're, right, there we go. Okay. And we need to mate this in two ways. Each of these parts can be made in two ways. They're going to be made at coincidence, so that the, the, the flat sides of them are in the right place, so whether this comes in front of this piece or whether it goes behind the piece. And then we're going to use a concentric mate to actually link up the two, the, the two holes. Okay. So the first bit, this needs to go behind that. Okay. So I'm going to click on the front of this and go to Mate. And I'm going to use a coincident mate, and I'm going to click on the back of this piece here. Okay, and that's going to bring those in line like that. So I can say OK. And I'm just going to move this across the way. Okay, because it should still be able to move. Obviously, it's still, it should be level with these two bits. And I'm just going to use a, a coincident mate here to link up these two bits here. So make sure that I'm clicking on the, the uh, inside, that kind of, that inside of the tube. So that bit there. And then in here, okay, and I'm just going to say concentric mate, okay, and that's gone, and say okay. All right, so I'll have a quick look at that now. I should be able to move this piece up here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to move it to about there, should be fine. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to bring the next part, which is going to be the coupler in. Okay, so insert component and bring the coupler, which is the green part, hopefully. There it is. Okay, and again, this bit's going to go behind that bit. Okay, so I'm going to click on the front of this and go to Mate. And this is going to be a coincident mate, and it's going to click on the back of this yellow piece. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the back of there. And that should bring it level that way. And now I just need to use a concentric to line up the two holes on there. Zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. So it's going to be centered there, concentric. Put that one there. Okay. And say so, OK. And now I can bring in the fourth piece. I'm just going to move that. And you will see, you can actually start to see how the they're kind of moving and linking around together. Okay, I'm going to bring the last piece in, which is the rocker. So again, insert components to the rocker. Open. Okay. Now this one, okay, so it's going to be, this bit's going to go on the front of there. Okay, so this time I'm going to click the, the front of this one. Mate. Coincidence, and this is going to mate to the back. Of that one there. Okay. Say so, okay. And then I'm just going to use the concentric to line up the two holes. So I'm just going to move kind of out of the way just so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So the inside of that one, concentric with the inside of that one. That links up. And then just the last one to do now, just to link up this final bit here down to here. So 
kind of move it around a little bit to make it a little bit easier for myself. Okay, now this time, this part here, this is the front of this, is going to go behind that bit there. So I'm going to take the front of the rocker, the black piece, and then go mate, coincident, and that's going to go on the back of the blue bit, the ground. Okay, so that's going to click onto there, so that's level up there. Say OK. And finally, I'm going to click the center of that slot there. Center of this one here, and click the centric, and say OK. All right, so that's a look at our four bar linkage. Okay, so there we have made a four bar linkage. Okay, so what should happen if I move this around, you should see it starts to actually move. Okay, so I can kind of spin around. Okay, there's a yellow section here. Okay, you should see that's uh, having an effect on the whole the whole piece here. And if I pick up that bit, you can see what's going on. Okay, in the second video, we're going to look at adding a motor to this corner here. And then we're actually going to see if we can do um, what's called a trace pass. We can actually see how this bit here is moving as opposed to this bit here.